Hey everyone, Decav13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Persona 3 Reload. Alright, full moon is approaching, uh, not that it really means much now. Uh, I guess tonight I'll just brush Koro, not really much else to do. I am starting to get a little anxious, because I'm now starting to feel like, hmm, might, might not have enough time to do everything. I'm getting the hang of brushing Koromaru. He's loving it. His coat is looking even shinier. <laughs> Koro-chan looks so comfy. You sure know your way around a brush. Oh, you might know something about this. Lots of people like to give Koro-chan gifts whenever he goes for a walk. Do you know where he's keeping them? I think I might know. <laughs> That's a secret. Well, I guess even Koromaru needs his own privacy. Do you think we should give him his own room? <laughs> ah, right. You're still in the middle of brushing him. I'll leave you to it then. Brushed him with all my heart. Koromaru's fur is unbelievably shiny. He looks more fearless than ever. What a dog. What does he get? Ooh, Auto Secunda. Lower accuracy evasion of one random foe for three turns when a battle starts. Hmm, interesting. What a stud. <laughs> Good boy. A balm of life. Thank you, Koro. I wonder if this is what Fuka was talking about. Very nice. I played with an overly excited Koromaru before heading to my room. Oh, people in Tartarus? Good morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. Okay, two people. Alright, we'll have to head over there. Eh, probably tonight. I mean, it's not like we're doing anything else at night anymore. Oh, uh, let's see. I might as well start Mitsuru's, I guess. Oh, I just realized, I don't need points for... Mm, actually, you know what? I might go with Chihiro today, because we are very close to maxing her out. This should be, what, eight, I believe? No, nine. This is nine for her. Let me just uh, get the answers up so I don't fuck this up. of Class 1C. The Student Council President would like to speak with you. Please report to the Student Council room immediately. Hmm. I repeat. The President wants to speak with me? D don't tell me she thinks I stole the money, too. Hey, don't worry. She'll help us. Y yes, you're right. She'll help us, won't she? And if I talk to her... At least I won't have to trouble you anymore. Um, shall we head to the student council room then? Mm. 
Good. You're both here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... It's because people are saying I stole money, isn't it? Yes, that's right. I happened to overhear the rumors. First, I'd like to hear from you directly on whether you actually did it or not. Uh, um... Miss President, I... I... to tell her yourself. Senpai. Okay, I can do this. I just need to be brave. I, uh, I, I didn't do it. Chihiro's lips are trembling. Well, I thought as much. You believe me? Considering all the work you've been doing for the student council, I can't imagine you'd be the type to steal. I fully expected it to be nothing but a baseless rumor. I just wanted to hear it directly from you. Miss President, th thank you so much. That said, we can't expect everyone else to be as understanding. As you have seen, people are openly sullying your reputation because they don't know you as well as we do. I'll figure something out for the time being. That's my duty as the student council president. Give me a hand, will you? All right. I'd like your opinion on how to proceed. You've spent more time with Fushimi, so you understand her situation much better than I do. I wish I could handle this right away, but I have other business to take care of. You don't have plans tonight, do you? Come to my room when you're available. And I'd prefer you try not to be seen by anyone. W wait, d d does that does that mean you two will be meeting alone? Alone? I'm not sure I understand the problem. If too many people get involved, it could draw unwanted attention. The two of us can handle this, so you... N no, I can't allow that! Fushimi. I have to do is clear my name, right? I I can do something about it on my own. I'm going to demand an explanation from the teacher. Huh. Wait, Fushimi. I clearly remember what happened that day. You had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving. I also remember handing the fee money to you directly. Or are you really going to say that this is my mistake? Be money. Give me an explanation right now, or else. I am so sorry. You're right. It's it's completely my fault. Well, Senpai has been. Wait, what? <laughs> well, the truth is, I accidentally took the money home with me. I've been meaning to bring it back here, but then I, I completely forgot. What? What? Good good job, dude. It's just, the payment deadline was pushed back, so I didn't think it was that urgent. Then I kept forgetting to bring it in each day, but I, I figured I'd get around to it eventually. And, well, here we are now. How... how could you? I know. This is completely my responsibility. I'll make sure to explain everything. I'm sorry for the trouble. So there's the truth. I'm almost more dumbfounded than angry. How do you even call yourself a teacher? I'm so sorry. It's okay, Miss President. Everyone makes mistakes. Well, that concludes my business here. Let's go, Senpai. Senpai, over here! Can you believe I went to the faculty office and said all that? I even surprised myself a bit. This whole thing is just... <laughs> What's gotten into you? <laughs> Come on! Can you blame me? <laughs> Remember when I said, I can't allow that to the student council president? Just when I thought about you and Miss President being alone in a room together, I got really mad at even the thought of it. Shahira has a refreshed smile on her face. I 
feel like our relationship has grown. I've been like that ever since I was little. Or so my mom says. Normally, I'm quiet and timid, but when it comes to something I care about, I get really aggressive. It's because I... Uh, um, Senpai, there's something I want to say to you. Actually, I've wanted to say it for a while, but I didn't think I had it in me. But I think I can do it now. Better choose my words carefully here. Senpai, I... I love... I love you! I like working with you, but... So, excuse me. <sighs> oh. Try to keep your chin up, Junpei. Oh. I know. So, what do you want? This came from the hospital. What is this? Jidori's sketchbook? They found it while they were sorting through her belongings. Ah. Um. <laughs> I know. I gotta snap out of this, but... It's just so hard. You should look at it. Yeah. Hey, Junpei, can I take a look? You probably wouldn't understand her drawings anyway. Understand a drawing like this. Huh? What? It's. Oh. It's a detailed portrait of Junpei san. Jinori. Junpei. She's telling me to stop moping around. Junpei Kun. Okay. I'm gonna fight to get rid of the dark hour. I'm sorry for all the times I snapped at you. I still hate to admit it, but just know I'll be counting on you. <laughs> right back at you. There's the theory, Jake. Massive fire damage to one foe, ignoring resistances, fully restores users' HP. Junpei. My friends are all smiling with tears in their eyes. I sense a strong bond with them. of Junpei-san's mental health has been confirmed. What? Wait, did that sound strange? Well, let me try again. I have confirmed that Junpei-san's mental state has returned to normal. <laughs> she drew a picture of him in her sketchbook, huh? That sounds like a scene in a romance novel. Anyway, I'm glad that Junpei-san is himself again. Hey! That drawing of Junpei actually made him look good! Even though she was an avant-garde artist, she left a sketchbook filled with portraits of Yori. You do understand the reasoning behind her drastic change in art style, yes? I do. I see. Good. Don't forget it. Um, I think... 
after being separated from Natsuki-chan, I know for certain that the bonds we share will never disappear. I think the same is true for Junpei-kun and Chidori-san. Chidori-san may no longer be around, but the bond between them will always exist. Junpei upstairs. I think... I've made up my mind. I'm going to fight and get rid of the Dark Hour. I'll fight, get rid of the Dark Hour, end everything, and live for the both of us. <laughs> for me and... and... she... Sorry, I'm not feeling up to much today. Maybe tomorrow. Oh. I'll wait till tomorrow to go to Tartarus then. That way we have Junpei with us too. Deadline on these guys should be the something December right? Yeah, the first. So we can go tomorrow. All right. So I really don't know what I'm gonna do tonight. I could hang out with Akihiko. I don't really need to. Let's go play games at the arcade. Seven magic. Good little over on. Well, make it make it a nice even ninety. Chihiro. Well, we're taking today for uh, for Akinari, so and I think, yeah, this is a max out Akinari. And then next week we can uh, max out Mamoru. It's amazing I'm going to do it. Become a spy set. Good, good. Shoes of Bane. Not bad, infrared kid. goggles. Yeah, why the hell not? Thanks, kid. Luxury but fruit basket set. All right. All right. Thank you. my story and wanted to show it to you I was having a lot of trouble with the ending but I finally figured it out after the alligator ate his friend the bird he cried and cried for a long time in fact he was so sad that he drowned in his own tears his tears became a sparkling lake around which grew beautiful flowers and a tree that bore delicious fruit the other animals in the forest came there often to relax but none of them knew the alligator had created it or that he was gone the end that's the ending i decided on even though the alligator didn't find meaning in his life the residents of the forest did they just didn't realize it. The meaning of my life isn't something I should spend my time on. It's more about how I was able to affect others. So, for me, or you, or anyone, just simply existing gives our lives meaning. People can't survive without help from others. We all depend on one another. I don't know how to explain it, but does that make sense? I think so. I'm glad. This is the notebook I wrote my story in. I've poured my heart and soul into it. I wanted to give you this, since you shared my final moments. My body 
feels lighter. I'm so grateful to have met you. It seems so insignificant, but maybe there was some meaning in it for both of us. Thank you. In the end, I'm glad that I was born. I can sense Akinari's tender feelings. Use Asura, the grand being. I have to go now. Maybe someday we'll meet again. I'd like that. With the notebook tightly in hand, I decided to head back to the dorm. I still think that's hands down one of my favorite social links in this entire series. Like, it's just such a beautiful link. Oh, such a back. such a tender ending too. It's like, man, it's so good. The full moon's almost here. No shadows have appeared yet, but I'm still worried. By the way. Oh, that reminds me, Ryoji-kun's here again. He's visiting Junpei. Junpei's still pretty down. So I'm glad he has a good friend like Ryoji-kun. Oh, so does that mean no, uh, no Junpei still? Uh -huh. Oh, everyone can go. Alright, see, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll cut and do that real quick. Junpei's got a smile back. It's good to see the classic Junpei in action again. Alright, so I'll cut here and uh, I'll see you guys afterwards. All right, I'm back, and uh, I did find something out, guys. Uh, I'm not gonna have enough time to max everything out. <laughs> so, as unfortunate as that is, I'll still try to get everything that I can done, but uh, probably not gonna go out of my way to try it. Like, I mean, obviously, I literally can't, but eh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm definitely gonna do another run of this game in my own time. So I'll try to max everything out on that one. Man, I thought I thought I would be able to do it. That's a Good shame. Here are my anyway, uh, I did excellent. fuse a couple new things. House. Let me uh, show off what I did get. Very well. Okay, so I have three new ones here: Norn, Alice, and Thor. Uh, gotta say, they turned out pretty good. Norn having all these buffs. Uh, Alice just being absolutely fucking insane with Concentrate, Megiddo Leon. And then Thor just, uh, being real good with physicals. So yeah. That's pretty good. Alright, let's get out of here and head back. Oh, hello. Man, I'm still kind of upset about it. Man, this game is real fucking strict of what you have to do in order to max everything out. This section. Um, do you understand? I'm not even gonna move to read. I'm just gonna fucking read this to myself. Man.
you know what? Why don't we go start Mitsuru's? I at least want to try to get Mitsuru, Yukari, and Aegis done. I'm gonna go start Mitsuru's before I just completely fucking forget. Like, I, I don't mind leaving Bebe and Keisuke. It's like, eh, whatever, at this point. Ah, uh, Mikami. I've been hearing a lot about you. Uh, I've been hearing a lot about you lately. It sounds like you're studying hard. <laughs> I'm impressed, but try not to stress yourself out. Zero acknowledged the effort I put into my academics. That'd be my chance to get to know her better. Um, and by the way, Mikami, this is completely unrelated, but I'd like to talk to you about something. If you don't mind, can you spare some time? Sure. Mm -hmm. I see. Excellent. Well, um. Could you come with me? I'd rather not talk about it here. So, um... Yes? I need to know the etiquette of this place. Are there any customs I should follow? Oh, be, be sure to slurp the noodles. Oh, right. Slurping is considered polite. I've heard about that. Hope I can do this correctly. Now then... Let us begin. Bon appétit. Hmm. What a fascinating flavor. I thought it's strange at first, but it carries with it a subtle complexity. Yes, this is quite delicious. Excuse me, Monsieur Chef de Cuisine? <laughs> Cuisine. Talking to me? Your ramen is absolutely wonderful. It's been a while since I last gave my compliments to the chefs. What do you use for the bouillon? Bouillon? What the hell is that? You're asking about the recipe? Sorry, miss. Can't tell you. That's how we put bread on the table. So it's a secret recipe. I completely understand. You don't have to tell me. You mentioned this dish puts bread on the table? I suppose that means oh, it comes it's in real. sandwich form as well. I see. What a fascinating delicacy. <sighs> I'm a little sad I didn't start hers earlier. I forgot she was like this. Uh, that ain't exactly... Well, whatever. The recipe of something this delectable could likely be patented and sold for quite a profit. Oh, sorry, um, my imagination got the best of me. I've been wanting to try ramen for a long time. <sighs> Do you find that unusual? Mm, not at all. Oh, that's good to hear. I never had the opportunity to eat this kind of food growing up. The style of restaurant is new to me too. So, I have to admit, it's something I've always wanted to try. I'm glad we came here today. You've already taught me so much about ramen etiquette. Did you want to talk about something? I would love to return here in the future. I saw an unexpected side of Mitsuru. I feel like our relationship has grown. I have to go back to the dorm. I gotta say, for for a first run, I really don't think I did all that bad. Oh, welcome back! I'm, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> hey, Fuka. You're late. Ryoji kun was just leaving. Oh, hey there. Chilly out, huh? Hope you don't go catching a cold. You know, I stop by here pretty often. Weird, we never see each other. Well, I'm out of here. See you later. Later, Yoji.
Was that Ryoji san? Yeah, he said he was going home. Why was he here? To see Junpei. They've been hanging out a lot ever since the school trip. But the rules state that visitors aren't allowed here. Yeah, but Grijo Senpai said it's cool as long as no one stays late. I don't think we have anything to worry about. He is dangerous. Dangerous? Yoji kun Come to think of it, he did hit on Mitsuru Senpai the first time he met her. But having him around has really helped cheer you up, Junpei kun. Well, no point in dwelling on the past, right? Won't change a damn thing. That's true. Hmm? What's up, Aichan? I'm fine. It's just... I envy you, Junpei. I'm a machine. So I don't understand what it feels like to live. Really? Well, you don't seem that different. In my case, it's more accurate to say that I'm operational as opposed to alive. There are times when I malfunction, but I can always be repaired. Well, if we were all like you, then we never have to worry about dying. Oh, crap! Uh, I don't have time to talk right now. I've got a mountain of homework. Serves me right for slacking. Oh, no use whining. Junpei is studying on purpose? I guess he'll finally froze over. Well, better call it a night then. <laughs> The gift of life is not something I should possess. A weapon is much more difficult to operate when it's alive. That said, I believe I understand the concept of loss. Leader, the thought of something happening to you, it makes me... Don't worry about me. Understood. You are very special to me. I can't explain why. I never want to leave your side. I want to protect you at all costs. To be there for you always. Ah, I apologize for keeping you. You must be tired. So much has happened in so little time. I'll return to my room as well. Good night. Yoji Mojizuki. He is dangerous. What is this unsettling feeling? I am a machine. I can't die. So no one will have to grieve for me. I have to do something. I don't want to see them suffer anymore. Hmm. By the way, does Aikisan not get along well with Ryoji-san? He's a strange guy, but I think he's plenty polite and interesting. Um, Don't worry, Koromaru-san. I won't do anything reckless. So, Ryoji-san is dangerous. I'm certain of it. Things are fine for now, but one day that will change. Please do not worry, though. I will be there to protect you. I should, I mean, since I focused, since I'm focusing down what I want to, jeez, 93 magic. I was say, since I'm focusing down what I want to do now, uh, I might as well go pick up some personas, because I need a, what, lovers and empress? Because the, those are the, those are the ones I'll devote my time to. I'm looking for, how may I assist you? Like, I, I, I'd rather at least get Yukari, Mitsuru, and Aegis done, as opposed to trying to finish the clubs. I too. This right, is your progress so uh, far. Let's see. Lovers. Let's get out of Raphael. Is this acceptable? Actually. This persona, yes? No, is this Tanya. acceptable? Very well. It's yours. And, oh, Empress, I passed already. 
Highest Empress is Haruti. This is this acceptable? May it be your inner strength. Very well. We look. Oh, you know, I did want to check something. I want to see how how expensive have I made Oberon at this point? <laughs> I'm kind of curious. And I'm probably not Welcome going to like to the, the answer. This is How expensive are you, so Oberon? 123,000. <laughs> oh, nice. man. Right, if I can get two more skill cards, you'll be perfect. I might replace Mediorama. Are you finished? I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do. I might, I might do resist ice. Actually, I don't know. Do I want to do resist ice? I haven't really decided. Uh, we can collect rewards and sell shit though. Now you're here. I'm counting on you. Omega Drive. By the way, much obliged. Three diamonds. Good to see you. Hmm. What do you got? Ooh. Wanna... All right. Oh, yeah, so okay. something I found out when I was you in Tartarus. If you have Tartarus search on Fuka and you encounter a greedy shadow, she fully maps out the floor so you don't have to worry about guessing and you'll just always encounter it. There is some new items you can create. I counter shock high. Oh, crit rate up high for June pay? Yes. Are you sure? Here you go. Thanks That's for a really waiting. Good weapon for him. Doubles a cigarette. Strike amp for Akihiko. Agility plus five and ice boost. Auto Masuku Kaja. Magic plus seven and dark boost. An unshaken Officer will, Kurosawa so he can't get ailments. He and my neighbors usually keep me in the loop about everything going on. So, what Let's will see. it be? Light evasion high, reduced magic damage medium, shift amp. Oh, what's that? Plus three. Yes. You're sure about you go. Thanks for waiting. I will take that for myself. I might do Fairy Cloak as well, because that's actually really good. Reduce magic damage medium. No light on I guess. Fire evasion high. Auto Taraku Bellion. I wonder what's going to happen now. Well, what would you like? Oh, let's see. Ooh, Automataru, Maraku, Masuku, Survival Trick, Dizzy Boost, Slash Amp, Strike Amp, Pierce Amp, Light Amp, Dark Amp. What would you like? Changes attack affinity to light. Oh, that's 200 power as well. Jack's gauntlets. Random ailment high. I need black frostite. It's been much more pleasant around Changes here recently. Changes attack affinity and to dark. Island in particular. Changes well, I guess Amada's that just attack shows affinity to light. No wind on Mitsuru. Dark evasion high for Amada. Reduce physical damage medium for I guess. Faster oh, faster recovery really good. Are you sure? Here you go. Thanks for waiting. Everything good? Actually, I got here. my hands on some pretty interesting wares. Feel free to look around. Alright, oh, I forgot I can buy these. own gems. I just need a ruby for a Megillion card. I wonder what's Spell going master. to happen now. Oh, well, Spellmaster might be good for Oberon instead of uh, Medirama. Uh, Medirama. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. Everything good? Hope to see you soon. Right, let's equip all this new shit we got. Plus 30 SP is nice, but all stats plus 3 is even better. And I got some new accessories too. Apt Pupil. Oh, increase user's critical rate. I'll put that on Junpei. Crit 
100 grade spot. Um, as much as strength plus five is really good on Jin Kai, I'm gonna give him the Omega Drive. That way he just does insane crits. Uh, let's see, on Hiko. A little less evasion, but I think faster up here recovery would be really good for I guess. Oh, I got the I guess made outfit. Okay. Oh, I can give the. Uh... Oh no, those are guy only. Oh, that's a shame. I would love to give that to Fuka or some more SP on her. Not well. It's me. Sorry for calling so late. Now then, about the new arrival from the other day. I'd like to ask that you perform a full autopsy. If we find any distinctive features, we may be able to locate her family. Also, I can't help but think that the Kirijo group is connected to Strega in some way. Considering this, I think it would be disrespectful to sleep her death under the rug. And of course, I'll take full responsibility. What? What did you just say? <laughs> Transmogrified? The body? <sighs> but judging by the post-mortem, we, we were certain she was... <sighs> All right. I'm sorry, but please keep this strictly confidential until we know more. If there are any other changes... Yes, absolutely. Right then. Hmm. What is going on? I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens for now. Interesting. Oh yeah, I got a message from Ryoji. I think I was in school today. Maybe something urgent came up? I want to see you. Please come to the music room. Start with the short notice, but I need to see you right now. Why are you acting weird? Turn to the music room later. Another thing about New Game Plus is I probably won't have to do these optional events. Since, uh, what is it? Since I'll probably be able to keep the items that let me fuse the personas. Hey. Hi. Thanks for coming. Oh, what happened? Well... How do I put this? I suddenly just got this feeling that I'm running out of time. And I felt like I had to see you. I had to talk to you. <sighs> Sorry. I'm not even sure what I wanted to say to you. So, I guess for today... I'd like to say thanks. Thanks? 
hasn't been that long since we met. But I feel like I've learned so much by spending time with you. I just really wanted to thank you for that. You showed me around the school and the city. I got to hang out with you and the others. I even got to go on a trip with you. That was a lot of fun. It's been a joy to experience and learn new things every day. certainly gotten better just like this wow I guess I wanted you to hear this song when I saw those couples in Kyoto or when I visited you guys at the dorm I realized that's what it really means to build a connection with someone it's that feeling of overcoming something together and keeping each other going both sides need to come to an understanding. That's how connections are built, right? I want you to know that you're important to me. I know I said I wanted us to be friends, but... I actually want to be something more. Huh? What about you? Uh, I don't understand. I don't really get it myself, but I... Me. Oh, hey, Fuka. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I hope I didn't interrupt. I was just passing through the hall, and I heard someone playing a beautiful song on the piano. So I thought I'd stop by to watch the performance. Who was the one playing? Was it you? Oh, Ryoji was just... Hmm? Oh, I wanted to ask... It might have just been my imagination, but I thought I sensed Ryoji-kun's presence in this room. Were huh. you not with him? Hmm? Fuga and I left the music room and returned to the dorm. The melody Ryoji played on the piano remained fresh in my mind. Hmm. New shoes of Bane and Fred Goggles. Welcome back. What's up, dude? Tomorrow's a full moon. Not like that means anything anymore, though. Man, there's nothing to do. I'm so bored. Maybe I'll go hang out with Ryoji. I didn't see him at school today, but he was probably just ditching. So he should be around. Oh, oh wait. Crap, I don't know where he lives. Very interesting indeed. By the way, there's going to be a full moon soon, isn't there? I know there's not much else we can do, but I can't help but feel a little bit restless. Guess I'll just have to deal with it. So, Tadashi-san, I swear that I will protect you, come what may. So, um, please do your best on your exams. Uh, <clears throat> I guess that's something akin to the idea that, as a machine, she is replaceable. She may have been programmed that way, but it's still painful to hear. Perhaps... Ryoji asked Mitsuru out? <laughs> I'm surprised he's still alive. I used to think he was all talk. Guess he's got guts of his own. Hey. This feels kind of weird, huh? It's a full moon ha tomorrow, but nothing's happening. It's almost too quiet. Well, I just that... I guess... Typo. I guess that just goes to show we're back to our ordinary, everyday lives. For some reason, I feel a little restless. Hey, Fuka. Let's go garden together. These gold tomatoes are gonna be great. I bet these taste really good when they're freshly harvested. I think that about does it. Shall we head back downstairs? Alright, 
full moon. Good morning. I intend to do my best to protect everyone. Even if that means I... What's up? No. It's nothing. Please don't worry about it. I just wanted to share my feelings with you. Oh, we actually have the die. Let's see. I guess we'll hang out with you, Kari, today. I guess I might as well start working on these, too. before we head home. Do you mind? It'll just be a little longer. Hang on. I've got a phone call. Oh. Hello? Yeah? What? So, get to the point already. Huh? That's not funny. What? How do you think that would make Dad feel? Fine. Do whatever you want. Just don't call me again. <sighs> Sorry. You okay? Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. You know who I was on the phone with, right? Yeah, it was my mom. She says she wants to get remarried. I don't really care if she wants to get married again. What I can't stand is how she chose to live her life. Running away from things, jumping from guy to guy. I don't think that's fair to my dad. Car seems pretty upset. I quietly stood by her side until she calmed down. <sighs> Sorry. Okay now. Really, thanks. I'll never be like her. I'll never give up standing on my own two feet. Running away from your problems by clinging on to others is the worst thing you can do. I've decided I'll make it through on my own. I'll show her that I can be happy that way. Kari has shared her innermost feelings. Listening. For some reason, I feel like I can tell you anything. Let's head back now. I'll do the rest of my shopping some other day. I left them all and went back to the dorm. Welcome back. There'll be a full moon tonight. We will con be conducting an operation. I was thinking I might summon Juno and search around a little just in case, though. Oh, by the way, have you seen Aegis Mikami-kun? No, I haven't. Aegis has been coming home late recently. She didn't used to. I wonder if something happened. I hope she's okay. Aegis hmm. didn't like Ryoji-kun from the moment she met him. Do you think they just have clashing personalities or something? Something like that. Um, it's probably because he's always flirting. To be honest, I don't really like him that much either. All right. There's a full moon tonight, so I'll be up keeping an eye on things with Juno, just in case. So let's go to Tartarus another night, okay? I'm gonna spend some time with Junpei. Okay? Why not? Hey. Grow faster, you know. 
I'd say that's a mighty fine work. Let's head back downstairs. Looking for you. What are you doing here? I kind of just ended up here somehow. It's so strange. The sky and the ground look all weird, and there's no one around. Something bad's happening right now. But for some reason, I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? What? This is the dark hour. Ordinary people shouldn't be free to roam about. You... You've adapted to it somehow. Too well for a human. Uh. I finally understand. That's why I feel this way whenever you are around. You are dangerous. You are... My enemy. You're... Enemy? Enemy. That's right. It was on a night like this, with the full moon. It was a long time ago. Yes, we've met once before. You and I were enemies. Who am I? Who are you? I am I guess. The last of the anti-shadow suppression weapons. I was created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy? And you. Your true name is Death. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. Shadow? Since I was unable to defeat you, my only option was to seal you away. However, under the circumstances, there was only one suitable vessel. A human boy who had the misfortune of being nearby. I had no other choice. Now I see. I was inside of him all this time. And I unwittingly led him to discover my twelve missing pieces. And then... I get it. I understand now. I remember everything. I know exactly who and what I am. Palladium! Don't be foolish, I guess. You can't win. I'm even stronger than before. The machine is created to serve a specific purpose. I will destroy you. That is my only reason for existing! It doesn't have to be that way, I guess. Carry out 
my mission. I'm a machine that can't fulfill its purpose. I have no reason to exist. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry. I'm scared. Juno! Uh, did something happen? Yukari? What's the matter? Well, I realize it's a full moon tonight. You did too, huh? Oh, God. I'm turning into a workaholic. <sighs> Wait. Is something actually going on? We're not certain of anything yet, but we can't find Igus. What? Where could she have gone? At one point, I was able to sense a persona, but I lost Igus right after that. You sensed a persona? Could it have been Strega? Well, she hasn't detected any of them, but we can't be positive. I pinpointed her location. The Moonlight Bridge. All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on over there. I'm sorry. I... I... remember everything. I remember who I am. Who he is. Leader. I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. It's going to be okay. I'm... sorry. You have no reason to apologize. You? <sighs> Ryoji-kun? Wait, what are you doing here? I guess... I guess it's no longer moving. She seems to have stopped functioning. What is going on? It's all my fault. W you did this? Hold on, Akihiko. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Now tell us. Who or what are you? Turns out, I'm not so different from the creatures you call shadows. You're a shadow? I'm more than just an ordinary shadow. I'm the Apprizer, born from the union of the Twelve Arcana. The Apprizer? I remember everything now. The terrifying truth about the shadows, and about me. I can't... It's all so hard to believe. You know the truth about the shadows? I do. What? The shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. As for the appraiser, it draws the maternal being to it, allowing her to awaken. And the appraiser? That's you? That's right. His maternal being? What is it? She's on a level of her own. No words in our language can describe her. Ten years ago, a man collected hordes of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke before I was complete. After that, Igus took me down, and I returned the favor. Igus? Is this for real, Ryoji? She knew she couldn't destroy me completely, so out of desperation, she sealed me within a child who just happened to be nearby. That child grew up carrying me inside him, and by some twist of fate, he later made his way back here. He even transferred to your school. A transfer student? You don't mean... 
That's right. I've lived inside him for a long time. Inside me? But how? And when his persona awakened, the twelve shadows did as well. All in order to become one with me. Yoji, you're the appraiser? And you were inside of him? Who the hell do you expect us to just believe all that? That's all my fault. I'm sorry, but there's more I need to tell you. Ryuji-kun! Seems he fell unconscious. He's completely worn out. Let's let him rest for now. I guess needs us too. We'll pick up where we left off after that. What I've just heard was shocking. Ryoji lived inside me for ten years, waiting to make contact with the Twelve Shadows. Then does that mean the boy named Pharos was actually Ryoji all along? So many questions remain unanswered. However, Ryoji is unconscious. We took Ryoji and Igus home, the air surrounding us frigid and somber. Hmm. Definitely got some things to puzzle out. He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Got it. All right. I'll see you then. Damn you, Ryoji. <sighs> Looks like we're all here. Are you okay, Ryoji kun? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, I have more to tell you guys. Ryoji kun. Then allow me to jump right in. We have many questions that need answers, after all. Yesterday, you said the shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Tell us more about this. What happens if she returns? The maternal being is called Nyx. Who the hell's Nyx? Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death upon this world. If she awakens, the world will be swallowed by darkness, and all life will perish. All life? Are you saying... Everyone will die? It'd be more accurate to say that we'll all surrender the will to live. Wait, are, are you talking about the lost? Everyone seems to arrive at the same conclusion. Every single human being will become like the lost, leading to the extinction of mankind and the end of the world. The fall. But there's still a way to stop it from happening, right? <sighs> what? Don't tell me there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry. Wait, why are you apologizing? Are you saying there's no way to stop it? That's right. You heard the bell. That's when it was all decided. I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. The fact that I'm here at all proves the fall is coming. The fall is coming? Everyone's at a loss for words. It's inevitable. The entire human race will become members of the lost. Ryoji's existence confirms the impending extinction of mankind. What? When will it happen? I don't think you'll live to see next spring. That's barely any time at all! Am I right? All we gotta do is win and we're golden. 
Damn, we haven't lost a single fight yet, have we? It's not that simple. Uh, more like, it's not possible. When you're up against Nyx, power doesn't mean a thing. It's like trying to fight the inevitable. Like death or the flow of time. Nyx can't be defeated. She just can't. What? This is bullshit! This is all so sudden. Everyone is visibly distraught. I was born from a collection of shadows. But now, I have a human form. So I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. It's the gift I received for existing within him. And because of that, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nix's arrival is unavoidable now. But you can choose to live in peace until she arrives. You just have to kill me. If the appraiser disappears, all recollection of the Dark Hour would go with me. And that would erase any memories of this hopeless reality. There'd be no way for you to remember anything. When the fall comes, it'll happen in an instant. You won't have to suffer at all. We'll forget everything? I'm saying you can go back to your normal lives. And by doing that, you might buy a little time and delay the fall too. Technically, I'm the same as Nyx, so I can't be killed. But thanks to him, there's a part of me that's become human. So if it's done by his hand, then it may be possible. yoji -kun. If you don't kill me, everything will stay just as it is. With no hope for salvation, You'll live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. And I don't want to put you through something like that. I don't like either choice. I know. I don't want my memories to be erased. I mean, forgetting all this would be like trying to hide from the truth. Is that really such a bad thing? If you don't do this... All that awaits is despair greater than you can possibly imagine. You don't understand the terror of certain death. Don't make your decision without at least thinking about it first. Uh, why is this happening? You don't have to decide right now. There's still some time. December 31st, New Year's Eve. You have until then to think about it. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the dark hour and lose my physical form. Yachi. When Nyx arrives, I'm going to disappear anyway. So please, don't worry about me. I'll be back when New Year's Eve rolls around. Ryuji-kun's presence vanished just now. There's no point in chasing him. He's gone. <laughs> Ryuji-kun. <sighs> I guess... he'll be back. Ryuji's revelation was all too devastating. The world will soon perish. Mankind is destined for extinction. A difficult decision lies before me. Death is inevitable. The appraiser truly did deliver a death sentence to us all. I can't think clearly right now. How do you even choose the way you want to die? So, we're all going to die. No matter how much we want to live, there's no escaping death. <laughs> I've never truly thought about my own life ending. It feels like everything I thought I knew has been destroyed. So dance, if you wanna go ahead. Everyone 
Someone's going to die? What the hell? We're all tr just trying to live our lives the best we can. And now what? It's all just gonna end? You gotta be kidding me. I'm sorry. Sorry, I don't feel like talking right now. <sighs> Unavoidable end. This can't be happening. I won't accept it. Ryoji. That crazy bastard. He's gotta be out of his mind spewing all that crap out of nowhere. This is such bullshit, man. I just don't get it. Well... Guess all we can do now is think about our options. With... well, what option, really? Well, I'll end things off here for today, and... We'll continue on in the next one. I'll see you all then. Bye!